It's no secret that Google is tracking you and collecting your data. When you search on Google, they're tracking your interest to target more ads to you. Google search is not a private experience, so if you want to use an alternative, which one is best? In this video, I'm comparing Brave Search, DuckDuckGo, and StartPage to see which one is the best Google replacement. I started my comparison by looking at each platform's user interface, which is to say how they look and behave. Brave Search is the most familiar with its site favicons, video thumbnails, and sections within search results. DuckDuckGo is a bit more straightforward. It's mostly standard website results with site favicons and search categories you can pick from. It's also the most customizable platform, allowing you to change colors, fonts, and sizes of every element on the page. And Start Page was the most disappointing of the three. It doesn't even display favicons, and I found it difficult to differentiate each result. I never realized how much I rely on favicons to help me determine which search result to click. And without them at start page, I found it difficult to decide which result was gonna be best. One thing that's easy to find is the subscribe button. It's free to click subscribe and hit the bell and you'll be notified when I release new videos. Moving on to the quality of the search results, I noticed a significant difference between the search engines. DuckDuckGo doesn't seem to index Reddit or other Q&A sites like Quora as often as other search engines. This really bothers me because I find a lot of value in the answers I get on discussion sites, and this left me constantly double-checking my query on Google to make sure I wasn't missing anything. DuckDuckGo is heavy on the articles, seemingly favoring blogs and news publications over social platforms and videos. You may like that, but I personally would prefer to see more user-generated content in my search results. StartPage has a similar emphasis on articles, but I noticed more YouTube videos in the results. Still, I had such a hard time absorbing the results without favicons. Brave Search has superior superior results, indexing discussion sites regularly, and incorporating a wide variety of sections. There's an AI summarizer feature that rivals Google's experimental AI results, and many queries have a discussion section and a people also ask section. All three search engines have rich results for significant individuals, but once again, Brave pulls in the biggest variety of sections and information. But one area where Brave falls behind is shopping. DuckDuckGo and StartPage have dedicated shopping tabs, and Brave does Neither allow you to price shop an item at different retailers as you can do on Google, but it's a start for product discovery. I use the shopping tab on Google a fair bit, so I hope to see Brave add this in the future. Thankfully, DuckDuckGo and Brave will both redirect you instantly to Google if you add exclamation mark G to the end of a query. This is useful if you want to compare results if you're not finding what you're looking for. So far, Brave has been running circles around the other options, but how do these search engines compare when it comes to privacy? All three platforms make money by selling ads. But unlike Google, these ads aren't targeted at you personally. The ads are based on your search query, not your specific user profile. So if you're searching for jeans, you'll see ads on jeans. And if you're searching for cars, you'll see ads on cars. In other words, the advertisers know nothing about you personally. All they know is there was an anonymous search for cars, so maybe they want to display their car ad on that search query. Brave has an optional premium subscription for $3 a month that removes ads and directly supports their mission of building a private search engine. I love seeing this offered because if you're not paying for a service with your money, you're paying in the form of being forced to view advertisements. That's just how software works. So I'm glad to see Brave is giving users the choice to opt out for a fee. DuckDuckGo and StartPage have the option to hide your search query from the URL, meaning your web browser won't be able to see what you're searching and your browsing history will have no record of your queries. DuckDuckGo is the only one of the three that gives you the option of saving your settings to the cloud. This is a nice option to have, especially if you deeply customize the appearance and want it to look the same across all of your devices. Brave and StartPage use cookies to save user settings, but StartPage has the option of accessing your personalized page via a direct URL if you don't want to save a cookie to your device. These privacy features like hiding your search query in the URL and avoiding cookies sound nice on paper, but if you want to search the web by entering your query into your browser bar and pressing enter, you can't take advantage of these features. Your browser bar knows where to route you by building a URL that contains your search query. So unless you're just going to bookmark the homepage of your search engine and look stuff up that way, you're going to have to be okay with your web browser knowing what you're searching for. If you want to take your privacy to the next level, StartPage has an anonymous view feature that lets you load any result through a proxy, hiding your IP address and location from the website. You just click the mask icon, which is conveniently located where the site favicon should be, but 
Anyway, the mask icon loads any site in a proxy for free. This is a neat feature, but I'm not sure how practical it is. Unless you're only going to visit websites via start page results, you're inevitably going to visit links directly outside of the proxy, which could easily be addressed by using a VPN. But if you're going to connect to a VPN, the anonymous view feature more or less becomes useless. Regardless, it's a cool feature and it's one of the reasons why StartPage is the best search engine to protect your privacy. Now, I certainly don't think StartPage is the best search engine. In fact, none of these search engines are the best search engine. If you want the best overall search engine, it's Google by a long shot. But the objective here is to dump Google for privacy reasons. And if privacy is your number one priority, StartPage has demonstrated the highest level of commitment to protecting your privacy. But I think the experience at StartPage kind of sucks. The lack of favicons and sections makes searching with StartPage challenging. And I value the ease of finding relevant information when I need it. After all, that's the point of a search engine. If I switch to StartPage full time, I know I'd get frustrated and end up switching back to Google within a week. So if you're looking for the best balance of user experience and privacy, Brave Search is the obvious winner. It's honestly not far off from Google. Yes, it still has some improvements it could use, and yes, Google is still king as far as bringing you the most relevant information, but Brave Search packs a serious punch for a private alternative. I appreciate the features like Brave AI and the discussion section, which make Brave Search surprisingly enjoyable to use. And for the times that Brave just isn't cutting it for a particular search result, you can always use the exclamation mark gbang at the end of your query to instantly pull up Google and see how the results compare. Now, it's been fun comparing these private search engines because I've always been curious about them. But at the end of the day, am I actually switching to Brave Search or am I sticking with Google? As much as I hate to say it, I am sticking with Google. And before you tear me apart in the comments, please know that I fully understand how much of my data I'm volunteering by using Google. I really want to get away from Google as much as possible. I use alternatives when I can. I use Arc Browser instead of Chrome and ProtonMail instead of Gmail. But for any Google alternative, I have a rule. The alternative needs to be at least 80% as good as the Google product for me to make the switch. I'm willing to sacrifice some of the polish to buy back some of my privacy, but if the alternatives are far behind the main option, I'm not going to make the switch. I was impressed by Brave Search. It's better than I thought it would be, but I still have that feeling like I'm missing something every time I search in Brave and I want to double check the results in Google, and if I'm going to be doing that constantly, what's the point in making the switch? I have a lot of respect for Brave Search, DuckDuckGo, and StartPage, and I think they are viable alternatives if you aren't as attached to the polish of Google as I am. And if you're considering trying an alternative, I'd recommend giving Brave a shot. You might find that you like it enough to make the switch and cut another Google product out of your life. I did successfully get rid of Google Chrome, and if you want my take on the best Chrome alternatives, I have a full video on that here.